In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. And with this problem, we need to solve this equation for the variable y. We have a linear equation with parentheses and variables on both sides, which is something typically taught in an Algebra 1 class. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have attempted the problem, we can go through this together. And if you do have suggestions for future questions of the day, feel free to leave those as comments. Now, I will start by getting rid of the parentheses first. We can distribute here since these parentheses just mean to multiply. So we can rewrite this as 4y, 4 times y, and then we do 4 times positive 3, which is positive 12. And on the right-hand side, we'll just rewrite 6y plus 12. And we've simplified this equation so that it now just has variables on both sides of the equation. So we need to move all the variables to one side. And my general advice is to move the variables to the side with more of them. And by doing so, we can avoid some issues with negative numbers. It's completely valid to move everything to the left-hand side, but then you will deal with negative numbers. And in general, students tend to make most of their mistakes when negative numbers are involved. So to avoid that, just move them to the side of the equation with more of that variable. And to cancel out this 4y, we can imagine this as a positive 4y, and we can cancel that out by using subtraction. We can subtract 4y on each side of the equation. So this becomes 0y, or just 0, and we are left with just 12 here. 6y minus 4y's would be 2y, and we still have plus 12 here. And to get y by itself, we need to isolate the variable term. So we need to cancel out this plus 12, which we can do by subtracting 12 on each side. And on the left-hand side, we get 0. And on the right-hand side, we have 2y plus 12 minus 12, which is also 0. And to solve for y, we need to get rid of this multiplication by 2. So to cancel out multiplication, we can use division. We divide both sides of the equation by 2. And 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we have 1 times by y, which is just equal to y. And be careful, it is okay to divide 0 by a number, but if we flip this, this is no longer defined. There is no answer for this, so we just say it is undefined. You cannot divide by 0. So be careful when 0 is involved in division, but you can imagine this is really like you have, let's say, 0 chairs, and you're splitting them equally between two people. Each of those people would get 0 chairs. So after all of that, we can conclude that y is equal to 0. But this is just what we think is the answer. To be completely confident, we need to check this. So let's check our answer by plugging in y is equal to 0 into our equation anywhere we see a y. We have 4 multiplied by 0 plus 3. This is equal to 6 multiplied by 0 plus 12. And it is a good habit when substituting something in for a variable to place that in parentheses. And if you want, you can even put parentheses around this, but it won't actually make a difference. And the parentheses will just help keep in order any negative numbers. But in this case, we don't have negative numbers, so it's not that important, but it's generally a good habit to be into. And we can simplify everything. 0 plus 3 is just 3, so we have 4 multiplied by 3. Here we have 6 times 0, which is 0, and we have plus 12. So 0 plus 12 is just 12, and 4 times 3 is 12. So this does make sense, which helps us confirm that y is indeed equal to 0. 